Hey everyone, this is Corey here with Lely North America, and I'm joined today by Shonda at the Fred Brown Dairy. Um, we're out in California, uh, wanting to get a little bit of a tour of your farm and hear a little bit about it. And so Shonda is um, one of many titles, but the one that uh, we can talk land on here is manager. And so as the manager, can you talk to us a little bit about um, your dairy farm here? Um, we are standing right now in a robot room, and so as you can see, they have Lely astronauts. Um, do you want to start there and just talk about how many astronauts you have and their size? Yes, yeah. uh, we have, when we're all finished, we'll have 24 uh, A5 robots. Uh, we hope to be milking about almost 1,800 cows, so somewhere around there. Um, right now we're about 1,300 average milking, and if we were in two flat farms. So this is a totally exciting new deal for us. That's awesome. So I know we're here in the robot room as well. Um, so just talking about the robot itself then, what's been um, your immediate first impressions on how it's impacted your dairy? Um, so, uh, the first thing is, is that um, the cows are doing really well. They're making them small. Everything is consistent, more consistent. Yeah. Uh, it will be, it's only been three months, but it has really shown that uh, the robot's have a lot of what we do, yeah. and uh, we seem to be uh, transitioning well. No, that's awesome. Um, I think consistency is a huge thing. Um, I know as we're in here talking over, it's working right behind us. And so what do you say we take a step out into the barn, um, look at a little bit of the layouts and some of the other things going on here? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So we're out here, um, just outside the robot room, standing in um, one of the separation pens here in uh, this uh, pen that we're in. Um, so Shonda, can you talk to me a little bit about just this farm's history um, and, and what it looked like and when you, um, you know, first they started and were growing up and what it looks like today? Okay, so it was started by my grandfather and his brother in 1942, and. And then there's a site, and so with the dairy itself, uh, Ralph Dairy, Red Ralph Dairy, has been in business for 80 years this year. And um, the site we're at currently, we've been here since 1953, and we had two flat barns. We only have one now, and we, the most we've ever milked is probably around 15 to 1600, yeah. and. We had about 3,000 cows or heifers and bulls as support stock. We have approximately 3,000 acres of farmland uh, not, and now permanent crops also, um, which has sustained us totally, um, just buying a few commodities here right. and there. And um, so, yeah, I have lived here my entire life. I uh, watched it all change, right. and we never believe we're standing in a robot barn right. at this time. Exactly. Yeah, it's mm. been four or five years in the making. Um, I would say yeah. continually changing. And so, um, you know, you, we talked about it when we were in the robot room, only having the robots here for, honestly, a short amount of time. Yeah. Um, so say, let's start at three days. Three days after you got the robots, how, you know, how did, how did that look? So walk me through that. Okay, so three days in, I think I was still really, really stressed. Yeah. Like everyone was, yep. everyone's pretty tired. The cows don't seem to be making their trip you know, like you're supposed mm -hmm. to, um, but it was very uh, stressful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people concerned, you know, a lot of, I mean, I'll be honest, a lot of kicking action, the cows didn't like it, but um, after the first first couple of times through, for the most part, 99.9% .9 of them were fine. Yeah. They, you know, so. Starting comfortable with yeah. it and all that. Oh, yeah. So then, um, say three weeks. Is that three weeks after that, what did, what did that look like here? Three weeks after that, um, actually, it, it was very, a lot more calm. Yep. A lot more calm. Our fetching list was getting smaller, um, which was a plus that everyone's pretty tired. Um, yeah. We don't have those lazy girls that didn't want to come in, but yeah. Um, yeah, it started to really settle down, and you can notice that they were very happy in their beds. Coming from an open dry lot situation, yeah, um, we were afraid they might not like the bed. Oh, they adjust. Uh, we only had like two, maybe lay down in the lane, and okay. um, yep. but they took to the beds very well. And so not only did their way of milking change, their entire uh, environment changed right. totally. Yeah. yeah, totally new for them because they've been out in the open 
Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I know. They, and they get a little shade now, right? Oh, right yeah. Now. Lots <laughs> of shade, and whenever we started up, we, we did turn the fans because some days are kind of. Right. Uh, We're in humid. California, yeah. exactly. So the fans went on, but they. Yeah, uh, adapted really well. Yes, and so um, I would say, so I don't want to speak for you, but now being, you know, three months, we're standing in the separation pen, not yeah. too many hanging out in here. Nope. Steven pretty relaxed, as you can tell by just that the cow is hanging out right behind us waiting to get into the robot. Yeah. So where do you feel things are at now, three months in? Um, well, milk production is doing well. There's room for improvement still, right. always, but they've adapted to their living environment. They use the robot, um, so coming up. Standing usually at certain times of day. I mean, it's very crowded. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they're, they're really liking it. And of course, we are too because it's very quiet. Uh, it, the main thing too is uh, everything is transitioned to being very consistent. Like I said earlier, there's no um, coming from a flat barn where it's very hands-on. It's not now. Yeah. So everybody's had to learn. Hey, you know what? Leave them alone. They yeah. will adapt. They will transition. And for the most part, like I said, 99% of them have. Yeah. Um, and then we don't have constant noise and uh, inconsistent, even the way you milk them. You prep them, you post, and, and you know, dip and everything. Yeah. So it's going, it's going very well. Yeah. We're really, we're really excited. And that's great. Um, so why don't you say, uh, do you want to take a walk down the feed alley next and we can kind of look at some different avenues of these new barns that yeah. you guys have out here? Awesome. Sure. Let's go this way. Back here with Shonda, in the middle of one of the feed alleys here at the Fred Rouse Dairy, located in the Central Valley here in California. Um, Shonda, can you just walk us through this barn, the, the layout, what, what different items you have in here? Okay, um, so this barn itself is about 125,000 square feet. Okay. Um, and there's there's two of them. Okay. We have, this is the first one that was done three months ago. Mm -hmm. So we have approximately room for 200 to 210 cows per pen. So okay. there's two on the east side and there's two pins on the west Over side. Yep. Uh, we have the L-shaped uh, robot configuration. Yeah. Uh, um, we're still populating, obviously. Yeah. Um, there are four brushes, um, mainly brushes in each, on each side, uh -huh. eight total. And we have two Junos. Um, running around, running pushing around, in the feed, yeah. Which is the best thing ever. Exactly, <laughs> yes. No. Got to rely on a person to do it for me. Yes, oh. exactly. And then I know I see hanging from the ceiling here, um, we have the locators. So can you talk to me a little bit yeah. about those, the decision to put those in, and um, how you've noticed impact? Yeah, the cow locator, I'll have to say, has been the best thing. Is that the best uh, thing? Well, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. yeah. Okay, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I totally recommend that for anyone with a large herd. Um, yeah. It does make the day start off a lot, early, you know, a lot easier. Yep. Um, especially whenever you first start up, you're going to fetch cows, you know, four times a day, and then for quite some time. Yeah. Okay. So then uh, it makes it a lot easier with that pretty decent size list to go out and find them. Find right where uh, they're and at. Not, you exactly. know, not take up so much time because the whole goal here is uh, cows to be happy, things be consistent, and more efficient. More exactly. efficient with your time and people. Yeah. So that really has. Um, down uh, a lot of thoughts. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Sweet. Well, let's just take a walk down here to the end of the barn and keep looking. Does that work for you? Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So we're hanging out here a little bit further down in this barn. Um, as you can tell, it's just peaceful, calm. Everyone's hanging out in here. Um, so Shonda, can you talk to me a little bit about the relationship between the cows and the employees um, and how those habits and routines had to get built and um, how things have changed since the being in a parlor. Okay. The robots, the advantage of doing that, I mean, one of the main points of um, with the people is that there's no people. Yeah. You have a few to come no. in and clean the robots, so you have to fetch and you know, you walk through to make sure everything's good. Mm -hmm. But basically it's very calm, yeah. very quiet. Um, they're just much happier. Let's say they're just, yeah, they're just all hanging yeah. right around us right now. Yep. Exactly. So, okay, so my last question then here for you, um, as we're kind of wrapping things up, is, you know, why robots? What what was the decision for you um, to have, install robots here in your guys' farm? We decided we were we've been looking at robots for a while, and the reason we decided to get given the um, federal and state mandates and mm -hmm. the climate that we live in today, yeah. it. Um, it was the only way to survive the dairy business, it, and that's what we love to do. And if we didn't do the robots, 
it was we were gonna we were gonna have to leave the dairy business. Go in a different direction. Yeah, go in a different direction. Yep. Continue farming if that would even be possible, but definitely wouldn't be able to continue. All right, I see the Junos coming pushing us out of here, and so Shonda, where do you want to head next? Um, why don't we go take a look at the progress on our other farm? Perfect. Let's head out. All right, so I see the animals are walking around behind us. Can you talk to me about what they're walking through right now? Um, this is the foot bath. Okay. And we, uh, we do a foot bath three times a week. Three times a week. Yeah, okay. so we kind of do the routine and just roll them around yeah. down the lane and push them all through. And, um, yeah, and then we go to the next one. Yeah, we and then, we're doing really well. Yeah, and then do you guys <laughs> use the same product? Or? Um, we do rotate products. We okay. use a couple of different ones. Um, rotating every so many weeks. Yep, okay, yeah. they're walking right through yeah, effortlessly. Yeah, not, before we had to push them quite a bit. Okay, so that makes sense. Perfect, well, let's keep on going to the new barn. We just had to stop and take a peek at this, so it okay. works for you. So as we were walking over to um, the newest addition, I couldn't help but notice some of the construction that we're standing in right now. Can you walk me through where we're standing right now and maybe what this was before? Okay, so this is um, dry lot corral number three. That's where three. we had pin three, where we would have the older lactation okay. cows because yep. the old barn was behind us, what's left. Yeah. Um, we had to take majority of it down about a week and a half ago mm -hmm. and uh, but yeah so this is pen, this is pen three and it was closest yeah old pen three for yep. the cows yes yeah, so yep. close to the parlor okay yep. sweet well let's keep walking i just okay. couldn't help but notice that let's go so we're standing here um well i don't know i could i would call it the future right the, uh, the continual growth here at the fred Rowe dairy um so what does this barn look like compared to the one we've been walking in around all day same difference or um is an exact mirror image okay the same as the one we previously were in same number of cows same setup same everything same just everything. a duplicate okay yeah. um for juno's luna luna's yeah, all of that same as well brushes, the Juno. Okay. Uh, there's 12 uh 12 robots yep. um pin configuration is the same same number of cows Walking around, about to, to get to the Juno station, I see the electrical panel behind me. You know, we've been in a robot room. I was thinking, where, where's your office? You know, the farm office, the head base, the home base, all of that. Where, where is that at? Um, well, we specifically did not build um, an office here in the okay. robot room or robot barn area yeah. um, because we would. Um, Basically, I wanted to set up so we could do everything remote from we wherever did. we were. Yeah. Whether that be, we do have a, a, a business office. Yep. So we can do that there. Or I can do it from my home. My daughters can do it from their home. Yep. Or hey, if I get to go on a little trip, I take it with me. Right. We always have to work anyway, so exactly. that way it's with me. But yes, um, the t for c Dairy Comp, everything that we use is set up to be used remotely from wherever. That's it. It's just so two buildings mirror images replicas no no uh, no office built in either of them um so wherever you or any of your employees have their have their phones or tablets at, is that yeah. what i'm understanding right right they have tablets and yeah. we will outfit them with probably a little uh, laptop yep and so they can get a little more information about what's going and on or what they need to do on the day to day um but yeah no there's no Dairy office yeah. specifically, and so so I only in the short months then of having the robots. Have you noticed a little bit of change in your life on that end with dealing managing with the robots and having that aspect be remote? Um, yeah, I mean you you can go wherever mm -hmm. and take it with you, and you can watch to see if okay are the robots working? Yeah, um, which cows are milking? Which ones have it? Um, yeah. You can get a lot of information off of that, but it does somewhat. It does make it easier. I feel it's easier. I feel better about it because okay. um, yep. I can actually see what's going on. Because yep. I can't be here twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. Well, Shonda, thank you so much for having us out and walking us around your current barn up and running with twelve robots. Walking us through this barn with twelve robots that we're excited to see get up and running, and hopefully we'll be at, back out here soon. Um, so yeah, we appreciate you and all the information that you had to share with us today. Thank you. Why did he come? Yeah.